So here's an interesting messaging system. It's pretty easy to use, and it's only, um, only it's basically CSS, uh, HTML, and a little bit of PHP. Um, but it's using the session to control all this. So here's an example. Here's my authorized page. If I try to go to this page, it senses that I'm unauthorized and brings me back here. So it actually went to PHP and came back and said, oh, unauthorized access. And it's really nicely uh, designed here, and I can close this out and say I don't want to deal with it anymore. Okay? If I refresh the page, that, that error is not here anymore. I, error doesn't exist anymore. So after the errors are placed, um, they're cleared. So if I go to the admin page, I also don't have access to that. right? So I don't have access here, and don't have access here. So it's it's giving me that error. And if I hit the dashboard, I am allowed here, so it gives me that. So let's look at how that happens. So first, um, here's the dashboard page. I have a function that I'm calling um, called print messages. That's the main function that's doing it. And before we do that, let's take a look at the CSS for these guys. So notification is the guy, and you can see the CSS for it right there. It's just uh, some uh, rounding of corners and some radius and then you can see that there's a bunch of different kinds of error messages there's a success an error a warning an info and a tip okay so these are just kind of styled out for for this purpose and they look kinda nice um, so if we go to uh, our show nav actually before we do that let's let's go to the top of dashboard so mm, let's go to the top of SMS so here it says um, the very first thing you're going to do is it goes into the permissions controller, which is part of my own MVC, don't worry about that, but it calls the function allow only user group, and it only will allow the user group admin. Okay? So if we go to the function in the permissions controller, and it says allow only user group, it takes in the group, and it says, okay, um, is the group that I said I'm allowed to be in part of my user groups that's in my session? That's just something I already have set up. Basically, when you log in, it gets your user groups from the database and stores it in the session. So here it's just checking, well, you said it needs to be user group admin. Is admin in one of my user groups? If it's not, okay, then I store session error, okay? Note that the word error coincides with the class error here, okay? That's kind of key each of those keys are these guys okay keep that in mind so when I go back to here and I say okay session error it's gonna be an array I might want to have multiple right so if I say unauthorized access and I want to say um, you shouldn't have done that right so I've made I, this is an array so I have two error messages okay the next thing that this function does is it's going to send me back to my refer it's gonna say just go back where you came you know, you if you were already where you were, you're fine, so just go back there. And then we die and we exit so that the rest of the code doesn't get executed. Okay? So we're so what I just did this change here, I've made two error messages. So if this is done right, when I click on one of these guys, I should get two error messages. There you go. Now I get two error messages. Pretty cool. And a and using those classes that I talked about, um, instead of doing error, I could say, uh, you know, info, right? Using the classes like I talked about. So if I refresh this and go to SMS, um, now it's going to give me info panels, right? So info, info, info. And there's other ones. So let me get rid of this second one because we only want one message here. And you can use this anywhere in the application now. Uh, so if we do, you know, warning, right? And refresh, it's going to give me a warning right here. There's a warning. Okay, so it's pretty cool. I like it. Um, but let's look at the the function that allows all that to happen, and that's going to be in here. And it's called print messages. It's a really small function, as you can tell. Basically, I say here are the different types that I have, and I'm saying okay. So for each type, so I'm going to do this for each of these five. Um, first, I'm going to check is the is the type set is it filled in, and is it an array? Okay. If it's not any, if it's if it doesn't fulfill all of these, then you just ignore it completely. It's done wrong. Okay. So as long as it's set, it's not empty, and it is an array. Then I'm going to loop through all the messages, and I'm going to create this shout, which is basically the uppercase form. So this part right here, I'm just going to kind of do that in PHP right here using string to upper, and I'm just going to echo this very simple HTML that makes up notification div class notification, and you just give it that class type and then you put a span in the strong tags and you put your shout there with your exclamation point and then you just put the message that you want to store in this div and because they're divs it's going to echo out div 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 right one after the other the trick here is that we're unsetting that specific one each time so if you set an error it's going to display the errors and then kill it that way next time the errors aren't there so with a simple print messages function 
okay and a simple way to say hey don't uh, here's here's an error setting it in the session you don't have to pass errors in the URL at all you don't have to pass errors back whatever all you have to do to print messages using this system is simply have this print messages if you're using MVC otherwise you just call the function print messages and that gives you a really pretty um, when you click it will give you a message boom and let's put that back to error because um, this is an error when that happens so instead of warning error and of course the only reason I'm doing that is because anywhere in the application I could make them say whatever I wanted so for example what I'm gonna do is when I up when I have this update I'm going to set the session success to be user updated and that's gonna show up here and it's gonna be great so there you go that's how uh, one way of doing messaging system